Hello everyone, I'm Greg Otto with FedScoop TV. Welcome to our Cybersecurity Hero Series, and I'm talking with retired Air Force Brigadier General Greg Tuhill, who is now the Deputy Assistant Secretary for Cybersecurity and Communications at DHS. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Greg. So, share with our viewers how you have significantly improved cybersecurity within your own agency, as well as agencies across the federal government. Well, thanks for the question. And uh, one of the things that I've been uh, most proud of is, is the fact that we're trying to bring discipline and rigor into our cybersecurity processes. Okay. In the past, there's been some things that have largely been ad hoc, and what we've been trying to do is actually produce uh, meaningful and well-documented uh, procedures, policies, tactics, techniques, and procedures across the board. Some of the examples of some of the things that we've done in the National Cybersecurity and Communications Integration Center is we've documented all of our mission essential tasks, okay. we've built training, we've been doing exercises, not only internally, but across the country. Last year, we had over 26 major exercises, and in March, we just concluded the CyberStorm 5 national level exercise. Okay. So, discipline and rigor in all of our processes and constant improvement measures has been uh, one of the things that we're most proud of. So, as agencies look to leverage new technology, how can they push the boundaries with next generation data security practices? I mean, they just deal with petabytes of data. So, how do you put something in place that can protect that amount of data? Well, uh, two strategies I think are applicable as we take a look at uh, better securing the information that we have. Okay. First of all, as you bring in new technology, I think we need to uh, focus on the strategy of adopt, buy, and then create. Okay. A lot of folks will jump to try to create something where there is something off the shelf that might be a better solution. So I think we need to continue to focus on adopting some of those best practices and the best technologies that are out there, rather than invest the taxpayer's time and resources in trying to create something. So if it's already out there, uh, adopt the practice, and then if the practice isn't good enough, go out and buy from the commercial market to fill your need, and only as a last resort, try creating something new. Okay. S take good ideas from as many places as possible. And then from a data protection standpoint, Often, we haven't necessarily uh, done a really good job of classifying by uh, uh, the sensitivity of the information as well as the criticality. So, better classification of the information, and I'm not talking top secret, secret, unclassified, confidential, those type of classifications, but rather by classifying what is really critical, what is most sensitive, and protecting accordingly is critically important. And as a War College graduate, I'm obliged to quote a dead German just about every uh, public uh, <laughs> speaking. And uh, von Molke the Elder, a uh, Prussian general from the 1800s okay. said, he who defends everything defends nothing. You need to know what's most important and defend that with the best part of your resources. Interesting, okay. So, cybersecurity culture, it, it's such a big part of the conversation. How do you drive agencies to think differently about it? You know, we're trying to pull cybersecurity out of the server room. Many folks traditionally thought that this is a technology issue and as a result, it's a, a conversation best kept in the server room. Cybersecurity, I assure you, is not just a technology issue. It's more appropriately a risk management issue. So what we've been trying to do uh, out of our department and across the federal government is raise the conversation to a boardroom issue. And we've been doing that with the private sector as well. Cybersecurity is a risk management issue, and all too often in both the public and the private sector, we've seen discussions of risk being suppressed down at the wrong levels. And as a result, acceptance of risk was being made at levels that were inappropriate based upon the level of risk. So as we're trying to change the culture, the first thing is, is to get it on the right agendas and keep it on those agendas so that the risk can be appropriately managed. So, my final question was going to be about the technological paradigms and what needs to be done technology-wise to enhance cybersecurity and to protect federal networks. DHS has said that there is no silver bullet for cybersecurity. So, talk to me about what is the top-line idea that agencies should be driving when it comes to cybersecurity. Well, first of all, I'll uh, reiterate, there is no silver bullet. By the time a technology is delivered, there's already another one in the pipeline right. that'll make it obsolete. But successful organizations aren't chasing the technology. 
Rather, they're chasing best practices. Okay. And often, uh, folks will follow a checklist and say, hey, I'm in compliance with this particular uh, regulation or procedure and the like. We have found through the great work of our industrial control system, uh, computer emergency response team, the United States Cyber Emergency Readiness Team, and others that working towards best practices will bring you into compliance, but compliance won't always bring you best practices. So rather than chasing the technology, we encourage folks, based upon the empirical data out there, the best organizations are the ones who are engaged in uh, implementing best practices and are also learning organizations that are always on the hunt for better ways of doing business that are aligned with those best practices. Great. Appreciate your insight. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks, Greg.